talk about a phenomenon that you might see happening in your lawn. It's not really a phenomenon, is it? It's uh, Dr. Moss is joining us to tell us a little bit about this unique pattern that we see this time of year in our Bermuda grass. Yeah, fall is here. The uh, nights get a little bit cooler, and sometimes we'll get a frost, heavy frost that come through. Maybe warm up the next day, maybe the 80s the next day. Who knows, right? right? But then you welcome go out, to Oklahoma. Welcome to Oklahoma. <laughs> you go out in the lawn and you see all these weird stripes and you think, oh my goodness, do I have like army worms or do I have, what is this? Yeah. Well, it's just frost damage is all it is. So we got cool. Uh, some of those uh, frost patterns came out on the grass and, and uh, basically just froze it off. And then there you go. You've got some dead leaf material and some alive leaf material. So it always makes kind of this wavy pattern, right? It does. It's very interesting. Actually, one of our professors here at Oklahoma State, Dr. Dennis Martin, really studied this issue. And he's, he worked with like some physics professors and everybody. And they have a paper on this. Oh, really? And it's very interesting how this happens. Maybe a little bit too much for us to cover <laughs> today. But basically, yeah, what you have is that, that frost comes in in a wave. You come out and some people call this tiger striping. It's oh, okay. like stripes from a tiger uh -huh. or something. It'll, if you come out like the next morning, it actually looks kind of black or gray. It's not brown yet. Okay. So you kind of see like these weird black spots or gray spots in the lawn. Come out in another day or two, and this is what you get. So basically that black that you're seeing is that plant tissue that's starting to die already. That's exactly right. Why does it do this in a wave? Hey, talk to Dr. Dennis Martin. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what you get. Uh, nothing to worry about. No big problems. Uh, pretty soon it's probably going to get a hard frost, and then the whole yard's going to do this. For a Bermuda lawn. All right, so basically the warm season grasses are just getting ready to go to sleep into hibernation. That's right, time for bed. All right, thank you, Dr. Moss. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.